Hi Aries, welcome to your general love reading for mid-December 2021. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. Also, the roles can be reversed or parts of the roles can be reversed. Okay, so just take the messages as they resonate for you or you can check out one of your other signs. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, so let's get into this. Let's see, Aries, what is the overall energy for you? Second half of December, we have grief. Okay, so somebody is going through a lot of grief, apparently. Um, so maybe there has been a breakup, maybe there has been an argument, some kind of a fallout, um, but definitely somebody is not feeling very well. So let's see. It could even be the both of you, if it's not just one of you. Let's see, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Second half of December, what is going on? All right, let's see. I'm just going to get them out real quick first. This top row will be your energy. Bottom row is their energy. And here is the potential outcome. All right. Okay. So starting off the reading, Aries, we have the Ten of Pentacles crossed by the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So it feels like there's some kind of a commitment here. Um, it could be the commitment between the two of you. For some of you, um, could also be a different commitment that either one of you is involved in. Again, take it as it resonates. And somebody here is having a, um, just not putting in much effort to this. It feels like somebody's just not focused on the commitment aspect of a certain connection here. All right. Um, for you, we have moving from past to, to future. We have death. The Magician and the Five of Cups. All right, so you're definitely feeling an ending here. You're definitely feeling an ending here, or there has been an ending, right? Because this would represent the recent past. For, and for them, in the recent past, they have the Ten of Swords. So there's definitely been some kind of an ending between the two of you. If not, then this might not be your reading. Um, Currently, you're in this magician energy, so it's like you're trying to manifest something. It might be that you're trying to manifest this connection back, maybe, or for some of you, just really trying to manifest your own life, trying to move on. I do still see a little bit of sadness coming up, possibly some regret or guilt, okay? It depends. Again, remember that the roles can be reversed. For them, hmm... With this Three of Pentacles, there's it definitely could be a third party situation. It does not have to be though, okay? But I do see the other person in this connection trying to make something work. Trying to figure something out. We'll see. Possibly trying to hang on to this as a as a friendship at least for now. And then we have temperance coming up for them in the near future. So moving towards some kind of a balance or maybe even taking their time with something. We'll see because the in the potential outcome, we do have the seven of cups. So I feel like things are still kind of up in the air just for now for December. But we will clarify because this could also be some, but one of you thinking about the options here. Let's clarify. So let's see that Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Let me get one more. And the Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah, somebody here is definitely walking away from something. I mean, again, it feels like there might be more than one person um, involved here for somebody, right? So could definitely, again, be third party. It is showing up. Um, somebody's trying to gain their independence here. Somebody is tr um, trying to walk away from any kind of drama or any kind of conflict that has been created or that they have found themselves in. I feel like somebody is feeling like there was a particular commitment here 
that created a lot of conflict or that there's just a lot of tension, possibly a lot of arguments. And I feel like this person, whether it's you or them, is not putting much effort into this, not wanting to just entertain this situation anymore. It's a situation that made this person feel like they did not have their independence or they just wanna be free from whatever this is. All right, and for that reason, they're walking away. So this could be you walking away from this person. This could be them walking away from you or from another situation, or it could be you walking away from another situation. It feels a little complicated, Aries. <clears throat> Yeah, I do mostly feel like it is you because you're the one that also has this Five of Cups. All right, unless the roles are reversed. So let's see. Yeah, we'll clarify. Um, I'm actually going to clarify Death and this Ten of Swords like, together. So let's see. Yeah. Ooh. The Ten of Pentacles and the Fool. There's definitely, definitely been an ending to a commitment here. So whatever this is, I mean, it's still there. I feel like it, it still exists and that's why it's showing up or this is just a different commitment. Um, but somebody is definitely taking a leap of faith here. Let me get one more. I actually do want to see this Ten of Swords separately. The Nine of Wands. Okay, yeah. I feel like you you are feeling like there is an ending to a connection here. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, another person here, whoever this is down here, is also feeling an ending, whether it's the same person or whether it's someone else. And they're feeling an ending that has been very, very difficult for them to manage. Almost like they're they're feeling like they have been betrayed in a sense and just have gone through a lot of challenges to get through this. Let's see the magician for your current energy. All right, the nine of cups, the hanged man, and the chariot. Okay, you're, you're trying to manifest happiness basically you're trying to manifest wish fulfillment you're trying to manifest whatever it is that can fill your cups so to speak um, something that you would really really want and I feel like you have this sense of urgency like you want to do it very very quickly but it feels like it's something that is taking time um you are moving, I do feel like you are manifesting this, okay? You are manifesting that Nine of Cups, whether it's with this person or just for your life in general. Or just something that you really want, whatever it is that fulfills you. You are in the process of manifesting that. I just feel like you wish that it could manifest a little bit more quickly than what it is able to because I feel like there's lessons that you're learning here with this hanged man and so that takes a little bit of time or it's taking a little bit of time just to process this particular ending here. Let's see the three of pentacles for their current energy. of swords the ace of pentacles and the page of swords yeah it's like you know this i feel like this person still wants a connection here some kind of a connection like there's been, there's been an ending they've endured this ending but there's still this wanting to have some kind of a collaboration or some kind of um some kind of a something <laughs> um because it feels like it's more in the practical kind of like you know let's keep in touch it's like that kind of a feeling i feel like this person isn't even sure at the moment what it is that they want like i feel like on the one hand they want a new beginning possibly with you um from the looks of it they're wanting a new path. 
different than before, that's for sure. There's definitely this interest. They're very interested in that. But I feel like with this Two of Swords, it's kind of like, it's like they're holding back from taking any steps to take it further to see because something here that has happened, I feel is very, very complicated. I do feel like for most of you, it is involving a third party. So it's really hard to kind of figure that out in a general reading. Um, but yeah, this person is definitely very interested still, but sheepishly um, interested, kind of like holding back still wanting a connection but not not all the way at the moment so let's see what is coming up let's see that five of cups for you all right we have the five of swords the emperor and the magician showing up again um, again, you are you are manifesting. You are manifesting. I feel like um, what might keep you a little bit kind of stuck in the past, or just holding on to negative feelings from the past, or you know that grief, that sense of loss, is really the need to be in control. Um, the need to be in control, and possibly you know again maybe trying to rush the process like really wanting to win okay with this five of swords and the emperor and the magician it's almost coming through as this is going to sound really bad and i don't mean it in a bad way but it's it's almost feeling like manipulation not in the bad sense not that you're trying to deceive somebody but it feels like you're trying to manipulate your own self like the the situation almost like bypassing the grief that takes some time to process and heal from. So again, you are manifesting, but I feel like the message for you here is to um, allow yourself to feel the grief, basically. Allow yourself to grieve whatever it is that you are grieving, whatever this ending is for you. And that's going to help you to manifest and, and ultimately be in that emperor's energy, being that magician, bringing forth that nine of cups into your reality, which you do have that capability. I do see the, um, the emperor and the magician also um, having Aries qualities. So this is definitely speaking, speaking to you here. Let's see, temperance for them. I feel like for some of you, it could even be that both of you are involved in other relationships. Like this could even be like a four party situation. Like it just feels that complicated. I feel like there's definitely an ending on both sides, but I'm not sure if it's necessarily between the two of you, all right? And for others of you, it's, it definitely can be, you know, just an ending of a connection here that you you are processing, this person still wanting to kind of keep in touch because they're not really sure what's going on. Um, yeah, so again, <laughs> take it as it resonates. Uh, so for them, um, coming up with temperance being here, we, or te clarifying temperance, sorry, we have the Three of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's, they need their time to heal as well, all right? It's basically the same for the both of you. They're healing from something as well coming up. Um, I do see them being able to find their balance with whatever it is that they need to heal within their own selves. I do see a commitment showing up here for them as well. Um, Seven of Swords, I feel like, you know, it's... It feels like something kind of just slipped away from them or there was some kind of dishonest behavior, something that was just not out in the open within a commitment with this person, okay? And that could have even been in, in the commitment with you. And this is something that has actually caused them pain, whatever that is. And so this is what they're healing from. So it's like the both of you are healing um, individually from each other like at the same time it almost feels like you're you're kind of going through very similar energies here so let's see that seven of cups for the potential outcome let's 
see what that is about. All right, we have the, oh, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is a lot of trying to figure out um, different options here. So it does feel like it's kind of like still in the air, all right, towards the end of the month. Um, I feel like there's a sense of something, something that where somebody was settling, or maybe even the both of you, settling in something. But I feel like it, it almost feels like it's the both of you coming out of that, both of you finding some kind of an assertiveness, finding what it is that you are passionate about, really understanding what it is that you want, and then looking at all the options in order to move in the direction of what it is that you want. It can feel a little bit confusing at times is what I'm getting, but ultimately I feel like each of you is getting on their right path, whether that is to be together in the end or to be apart, either way. I feel like this is an energy of leaving behind moving away from anything that's been confusing, moving away from any kind of settling, settling in, in something that's less than fulfilling, less than happy. So yeah, interesting reading, Aries. Really confusing. Um, so yeah, let's close it out. Let's get an Oracle card. Any final message for you if this resonated? Please do give me a thumbs up if it did. All right, and we have do something for someone. Give your attention to another. So yeah, maybe you've been feeling like you're being called to give your attention to a particular person. Um, not sure if it's this person that we were actually seeing in the reading, but yeah, this is the message for you, okay? Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. All right, Aries, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.